Welcome back to the pregame show here on the NECBL Broadcast Network. It is time for the Broadcasters Roundtable. Dave Peck alongside Newport Gulls field reporter Arm Layton and the voice of the Plymouth Pilgrims, Quinn Kelly. Arm, we will start with you. 11 home runs in Newport's last five games, nine in the last three. Is that a sustainable number? Is that something they need to keep up in order to get a playoff spot? Well, the thing is, home runs are really difficult to sustain, and the other issue is that they're not producing runs any other way. So you're seeing them lose these ball games eight to five, where they hit four home runs. You're not producing any other runs any other way. You can't bank on hitting four home runs every game. I mean, ultimately that comes up to a little bit of chance and a little bit of luck and how you strike the ball. But what you can control is manufacturing runs, getting on base, moving guys over, situational hitting, and they haven't been doing that. And I think that's a lot of the reason why we've seen the goals struggle the last couple weeks. From a pitching standpoint, Newport has done relatively well recently, but still struggling to get guys out early on. In the it's just getting ahead of hitters. You know, leadoff walks are a killer. I can pull out the stats probably if I was prepared for that, but they're really ugly when it comes to get guys getting on early in an inning. And falling behind hitters early in the count, that's something that we've seen them struggle a little bit with. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1 counts that are really giving these opposing hitters an advantage and putting the Newport pitchers in a difficult spot. Another storyline we've been following with the Gulls is just the dwindling of this roster now. Only 10, 11 position guys. But the team's getting smaller. Is that something maybe they can use to their advantage? A smaller roster, maybe a closer group of guys making a run? Well, absolutely. It's less guys that Coach Coombs has to worry about getting in at bat. More consistency with the lineup where guys, we've seen guys move around a lot. Now we have more consistency with where they're playing and where they're hitting in the order. I think that's something that'll definitely help. As we saw with the interview you just did with Tim Tawa and Stevie Mangrum, this core group of guys are really close. They know each other really well. And now that it's dwindling a little bit, you know, you'd like to have more guys on the roster. But at the end of the day, you have that core group together. It could be something that works well for the end of the season on this home stretch now. All right, Quinn, we'll toss it over to you. Plymouth been in first place basically the entire season in the South, but on a three-game losing streak now, just a half game up of the Waves. You know, what's been the problem lately? Uh, they just haven't found the timely hits that they did through a really hot stretch in the middle of the season. I mean, take for example, last night we stranded nine runners in a one-run loss, and seven of them were in scoring position. Three of them were there with nobody out. Uh, so the Pilgrims just really aren't finding the timely hits. The, the pitching has still been solid. Um, it just comes down to you know, wanting to win those ball games and pulling them out. A 3.09 ERA, that is first in the NECBL still for a pitching staff that has been atop the league the entire season. What's been working for them? Is that something that they can continue on for this final stretch? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's just a matter of they've, they've got good put away stuff, uh, and it's a good balance of you see a lot of strikeout pitchers and a lot of guys that are pitched to contact. And so, you know, especially against in-division opponents, it's easy to kind of mix it up. They never get the same thing in two matchups against the team. Um, although they will tonight, Chase Selesky on the hill, second time out against uh, the, the Gulls, and you know they got to find a way to stop the skid, and they turn it to him. Now, Quinn, you've been with the Pilgrims for several years now. What would you say is the biggest difference between this season and maybe the previous seasons on the field or off the field just with the group of guys that are here? I think it starts with a core of guys that have been here now for two years. I think that's the biggest help. Uh, you know, it, it was a group of guys that came in right away, and they were comfortable early on, and it's easy when you have kind of – you know, something in the locker room that can get the guys, you know, together and chatting early and get them to gel. And then since then, it's just been, uh, you know, it's been the pitching staff has really been the difference. It's the best pitching staff that I think Plymouth has probably seen in their six-year history. So, uh, you know, they've kind of spurred the charge to a really good season. All right, it's the Gulls and the Pilgrims in Game 5 for this 2018 NECBL season. For Quinn Kelly and Arm Lane, I'm Dave Peck. The pregame show continues next right here on the NECBL Broadcast Network.